What's going on, everybody? So, uh, I've had this idea to do some kind of uh, driving vlog uh, videos. And I just talk about some things and just things in general. Could be about politics, could be about my life, you know, things of that sort, etc. Could be about sports. Um, but I'm gonna talk about three things in my first driving vlog. First one is gonna be self-honesty. So let me start with that one. Well, the truth is I tend to, uh, sometimes I act on selfish impulse. Sometimes I am selfish. And uh, when I bring up the fact that I'm I'm a volunteer firefighter for 16 years. I do tend to be condescending and egotistical, but then, but I guess that's uh, with some people in the first responder community and veteran communities, community too as well. But uh, yeah, I do tend to. I tend to be egotistical and condescending when I bring up my 16 years of firefighter service. If you don't know what it's like to be a firefighter, it, it, it's a pride thing. Uh, that's something that firefighters take very seriously, pride. But uh, <clears throat> I do tend to be prideful egotistical, hypocritical, and uh, self-centered, self-absorbed, and to be quite honest with you, I'm getting so sick and tired of this bull crap of, uh, oh, well, this person did this to me, all that kind of stuff, this boo-hoo-hoo stories. I don't care if it's from me or anybody else. I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm just trying to encourage, trying to encourage all of you to make your own content, like what I'm doing with this driving vlog thing. I mean, it's it's not that hard to come up with ideas to come up with content. It's really not that hard. And. Uh, I read an article last night about self-honesty and how it's hard for some people. I, me personally, it's not that hard. All you have to do is say, hey, you know, am I a hypocrite? Yeah. Just like I just said, I'm, you know, I tend to be self-absorbed, self-centered, selfish. I act, I act on selfish impulse sometimes. I'm hypocritical, I'm a hypocrite. definitely egotistical <clears throat> and uh, have I lied in my life yeah yeah you see it's not it's not the mistakes or the screw-ups that defines you it's what you do with those screw-ups to correct those screw-ups and mistakes is what matters Self-honesty thing still. 
I would be lying to all of you if I said I haven't, I haven't had any suicidal thoughts, especially in the past three years, well, especially in the last three months. I'd be lying if I said no, I haven't had any suicidal thoughts. Now moving on, got to clar clarify something in the short that I uploaded titled My Thoughts on Hypocrisy. The thing is, human beings are prone to hypocrisy. That's just, it is what it is. Some people struggle, uh, I, you know, some people struggle with different kinds of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is hypocrisy. There's no way around that. I've been reading a book uh, called "Why Everyone is, Why Everyone Else Is a Hypocrite: Evolution and the Modular Mind" by Robert Kurzban. Oh, Kurzban, how you pronounce his last name? I, I don't know. It's an interesting read. Probably one of the best books I've read in a long time besides the J.R.R. Tolkien uh, books or the C.S. Lewis books. I'm a big fan of C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien's, uh, Tolkien's uh, work. Especially the Lord of the Rings. The Chronicles of Narnia didn't really get to me compared to uh, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit and the other Middle Earth books, but that's just, you know, preference, I guess. But anyways, <clears throat> Robert Kurzban, Kurzban, whatever, he really explains it better than I would, than I could, why everyone is a hypocrite. I mean, it's, it, it's extremely difficult to live up to your morals and expectations, it really is. And, uh, so, yeah, everyone is a hypocrite to some extent. Or another. And like I said, to say otherwise is, is extremely hypocritical. <laughs> Let's say somebody calls you out for being a hypocrite, or you call that person out for being a hypocrite. Well, at that point, you're beating a dead horse, and it's like the pot calling the kettle black. So, yeah. I think people need to take a step back, do some self-reflecting, and do some self-honesty uh, and work. And just realize that, you know, you don't have to go on YouTube and make videos about people. Just make your own content, you know? I covered the making your own content thing, but whatever. And now I'm going to talk about the possible diesel shortages or shortage, whatever. Look, folks, in my opinion, I believe that the government is withholding ammunition, food, and if the whatever happens with the whole diesel shortage thing, they're going to withhold diesel. You know what else I believe? I believe that the government is withholding cures for viruses and diseases, and certain diseases, uncurable diseases, and uncurable STDs and cancers. I believe they're withholding the cure for all of that. Now, I'm sure someone's going to say, to say, well, do you have the proof to back up your claim? And I'm just going to say this. No. I just have that hunch. Forgive me if I don't look into the camera, but I'm driving. After all, it's a driving vlog, so it is what it is. That's what I believe. I believe that the government is withholding 
supplies. Then of course you got all of a sudden food plant, food warehouses are burning to the ground or were burning to the ground. I'd say that's not a coincidence. Catch my drift. The government and and the news is using fear-mongering tactics to get people like you to buy, 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 buy more diesel, buy more ammunition, buy more gas, buy more food, buy more toiletries, buy more hygienic products, buy more of this and that, and this and that, so on and so forth. And guess what? During the start of the <coughs> uh, plandemic, that's why I call it plandemic. That's what it is, a plandemic. Not saying that COVID's not real, but it was nothing more than a plandemic to get people like you to submit. And look, lo and behold, most of you did submit. You know, I'm one of those people, you know, I've had, I've had so many people tell me, well, why don't you lead the revolution there? Why don't you start the civil war? I don't see you pointing your gun downrange. There's a reason for that. Because I'm one of those people who watch, who watches, who watches from the uh, shadows. I, in I intentionally press people's buttons to see what they're made of. To see what they're all about. You know, what these uh, patriots need to stand up in lowercase and uppercase letters videos. Right? There's a reason for that, right? It's to press your buttons intentionally to see what you're all about. And so far, I'm not impressed. So far, what I've seen is a bunch of submiss submissive bitches. Real, uh, real talk. Want to sit there and say, "Oh, civil war, God, civil war." You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. All right. You ain't gonna do shit because when you actually act violently and rebel against the government, guess who's gonna be there to stop you? The federal cops, the local cops, the state cops, the National Guard, the whole military. And who knows what else? You probably the CIA, the FBI, and all the well, federal cops falls into the ATF, DEA, and, and FBI. So <laughs> y'all just seem to forget that power does what it wants. Have a lot to talk about, but uh, not bad for my first driving vlog. Just remember, those of you believing this diesel sorted bull crap, <coughs> you're being played by you're being played big time. You're being played. Y'all take good care of yourselves, like I said. The mistakes, the screw-ups don't define you. It's what you do to correct those screw-ups and mistakes that is what matters. Alright, y'all take good care of yourselves.